Good morning. It is May 24th. Um, it's 11:24 according to the clock in my truck. Um, what, what I'm going to be doing today, basically, just to inspect everything, because uh, at the moment I have no idea what I'm going to find. Uh, I had the uh, the mating nukes that I transferred to the. Uh, nuke boxes i'm hoping that those queens are really ramped up and 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 best case scenario uh maybe they need to be put into a 10 frame box uh i don't even want to talk about the worst case scenario on those but anyway um we've it's been raining like every couple of days and it rains for like two days at a time uh last couple of days has been pretty nice actually it's been pretty warm uh it's showing 83 degrees on my truck uh, the light breeze kind of keeps it bearable but uh, it's just like a sauna with all the standing water as much as it's rained and it's just like a sauna out here so uh, as you can tell uh, one of my last videos I had a hoodie on because it was so cool but <laughs> now I've got uh, a tank top on sweating through it already and uh, I've got a new ventilated bee suit, which I love having a full suit for the summer because you can go out to the bee yard in shorts and a tank top, or you know, uh, sometimes I wear one of the uh, I don't want to say name brand, but one of the the uh, polyester or nylon type shirts that uh, moisture wicking shirts. Um, and you can wear, you know, even one that's pretty snubbed so that it wicks the, the sweat away. And it, that full suit, uh, once you get a, a little breeze blowing through it, makes it pretty bearable. Um, I don't know how people in warm climates use the those full cotton suits that, that don't, are not ventilated. I just, I used to wear one of those and it just, it's like I smothered me. But... We're gonna see uh, how big a mess we have today. Hopefully, hopefully it's not a big mess. I do need to find hopefully a virgin queen in the big hive. There's been a lot of activity on that hive, so it makes me think there's probably a queen in there somewhere. If not, uh, if they still have, if it still has the number of bees that it used to have, which it probably won't if there's not a queen in it, but if it's still full of bees. I may actually uh, try to trap uh, one of the queens and put her in a cage, and uh, one of the, from the uh, either the one of the nuke boxes or uh, the. Uh, there's a lot of activity in that hive right now, so I don't, I don't know. But I may try to tr try to requeen it with what I've got so far. Um, got a couple of mating nukes that may have uh i don't think they'll be virgin queens but could have queen cells in them but anyway basically i'm just going to go through everything um it's kind of breezy looks like here so it may be comfortable and uh next week uh weather permitting i'm gonna start um start my queen rearing I got all my stuff in, or most of my stuff in. All everything that I need to get started, I got in uh, a couple of days ago, a few days ago. So I'm ready to start queen rearing if I can ever get a few days of good weather. Um, if not, I may have to uh, get me a uh, those canopies, portable canopies, and and use it when I need when to need to get in the hives and it's still raining. Stand by. Um, I haven't even opened the box on this new uh, bee suit, so it may be kind of like an unboxing too, because I don't I don't even know what it looks like yet. Uh, I'm hoping they sent me the right thing, um, and uh, I may even tell you who I bought it from. Stand by. Okay. As you can see, I have a truckload of stuff. Uh, I I've, I've got. Hopefully, I've got everything that I need for any uh, circumstance that I could have, that I could think of anyway. So, it's, 
I got uh, 10 frame boxes in case the uh, the nukes. I got three of them, but I have four nukes. So hopefully all four nukes don't need to be transferred. But uh, the I got 10 frame boxes, bottom boards, inner covers, outer covers for those if they need it. I've got a couple of nukes. I've got extra uh, frames in case I need those. I have three honey supers in case those honey supers are full. I don't think they will be. The bees have kind of been uh, locked up for the last couple of days well, before yesterday because of the rain. So they may have even eaten through some of their uh, stores already. But uh, then I have my regular old uh, little caddy I carry with my stuff in it. And my new suit here. Um, it's funny, they shipped it in a in a foundation box but it's a company it's a company that I use or I've used in the past and I'm sorry I just realized that this camera doesn't have an open back on it so you may not be able to hear me very well uh, but this is a company out of Tulsa that I found somebody uh, gave me a, a catalog for one time and they're very reasonable on their their bee suits and they usually have what I want so and being in Tulsa and uh, them being in Tulsa and us being in Arkansas it's not that far away so it usually only takes you know a couple a day or maybe two for them to ship it depending on when they get it in the in the in the mail or get dropped off to UPS. So okay. It is a ventilated coverall. It appears to be the first the first one I bought from them um, the material was kind of a nylon so it was kind of well this is too kind of scratchy kind of rough kind of you know abrasive almost um, I don't know this feels it may be cotton just needs to be broke in a little bit but it was so and it was also a little short in the body they said that their supplier that year had kind of a problem with the, the sizes so when I had it on especially if I had a like a tank top like this it would the body was so short I don't know, I guess they just assumed people with long, that were tall had long legs and not long bodies. But uh, I would feel like I had to kind of hunch down because it was so tight and it would rub on the top of my shoulder. So it was uncomfortable. I ended up having to wear like a, a short sleeve, uh, one of those uh, moisture wicking shirts more, more than a, a tank top. Um, now I do like the round veil. You've probably noticed that in my previous videos that I like the round veil. And that simply is because I have gotten my ears stung too many times. So it's brand new. Like you just saw me take it out of the box. Oh, it's long. I'll, I'll give it that. It's definitely long. So we'll see how it fits. Hopefully their sizing is, is good this year. And uh, it's not uh, too uncomfortable as far as the material goes. Feels kind of rough at the moment. Kind of now, I kind of wish I'd worn a short sleeve shirt, kind of cover my shoulders. But I'm gonna put me some socks on because I'm down here in flip flops, and uh, put my rubber boots on and put that on, and I'll get back with you. Okay, one thing I do find odd about this, I just noticed this bee suit. I'll show you the tag here. 
it says 100 the lining is 100 percent polyester which i'm not thrilled with the inner lining is 100 percent pu coated polyester i don't understand what that is but anyway that's the part that's going to make me feel scratchy i guess you call it um and the the curious thing is that there's a there was a tag in here that has been cut out um and i don't i don't know maybe somebody can show me or tell me what the original tag said on here it's kind of weird that they cut you know it's probably their supplier cut the tag out but if anybody can tell me or show me, a, you can send me a picture of what that could have said. Maybe it'll show me the, the original brand name on, that was on it. Um, other than that, we just have, right now, we have plastic zippers, which is no big deal. The, uh, the brass zippers on the other one tarnished, and it, they turned green uh, in no time. But, uh, yeah. So, yeah, the, the inside of this is going to be kind of scratchy. I might start wearing like a long, uh, short sleeve shirt because it's not going to feel good against my shoulders. Anyway, I'll uh, get back with you. After okay. I can't even get it on. Yeah, it's it was a uh, it was the size I needed, but it, it, they don't have them in tall. I guess I guess most manufacturers think if you think if you're a big guy can't be tall too uh, especially beekeepers because I've, I've always had trouble I've always had trouble finding a uh, 3x tall uh, suit uh, so I usually have to wear the the jacket um, and I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to return this there's no other way I can't I can't use this and then I'll just have to get a jacket because it's uh it won't work uh what sucks about it is today's sunday tomorrow's memorial day so the shipping places won't we won't even be open until tuesday so it looks like unless i go back and get my jacket change into some pants put some tape on the hole in the veil i'm not gonna be able to do this today but I'll probably go ahead and do that. I'll probably go back to the... I should have brought it. I started to and I didn't. Um, go change clothes. Put on some thin pants. Um, get my jacket. Tape up those holes in the veil and, and try to get this done today. That's all I know to do. Okay, come back at the yard. Um, I want to show you my, my jacket that I got. I got it from the same company. Uh, must have been a different supplier. I just realized that the inner and outer shells, it says here, inner and outer shells are 100% polyester. But to me, I don't know if you can see the way this is woven, I guess you would say, or, or, the, or made. I'll turn it here. You can see, I don't know if, you, if that's even going to focus in or not but the way that's made is it makes it soft it almost feels like cotton I mean it's really really soft so um, I don't know I guess you just have to find one you uh, find them until you or try one until you find the one you like and try to stick with it the problem is is it doesn't have a doesn't have a, a maker label on it or a brand label or anything just to what it what it's made of but anyway i gotta find these holes and uh put some tape on them because i sure don't want no bees getting in here today i'm gonna be out here for a while there they are okay get this done